the COVID vaccine is being rolled out, which is great news. But are you somebody who's really fearful of injections or maybe you're even thinking that you're not going to be able to have it because of your phobia of maybe needles or um, syringes, injections or even medical procedures? So if you have trypanophobia, here's our tips to help you. Our thoughts create our feelings. So what you've got to ask yourself is, what is the thought that's making you fearful of having a vaccination? That's the origin. That's what you've got to look for. If you look through and find out, because no one on the planet is born with a phobia. So something has happened to you to make you fearful. If you look at that thought, if you find that thought, and then put that in context, hopefully, that will change your feelings, which will change your actions, and you'll be able to have the vaccination. Yeah, so step one is try and find that origin. Uh, step two, once you've found that origin, is then to challenge it. Uh, what we mean by that, so for example, if your origin is because you've had a bad injection, then you really challenge it. Why was the needle to blame? Surely it was the person that administered it. So uh, that's what you've got to do. You've got to challenge it and realise that the injection is just an object. It did nothing wrong. Uh, it had no malice towards you, but it was the person that administered it. So don't blame the syringe blame the person that administered it. Or for example, let's say that you've got your phobia because you're copying behavior from maybe a parent or a sibling, um, then again, realize that it doesn't even belong to you. And again, uh, a needle is actually really innocent in all this. Um, and then another common way that you can create a phobia is maybe uh, that you heard some sort of a story. It usually happens in you know, the school injections that you have and somebody talks about how somebody fainted and the needle was this big and it's not true. And if your phobia stems back from childhood, then it's really now to, it's time to, to grow up and see it from an adult's perspective and really challenge it. And all the time realizing that the syringe, the needle, the vaccination, the injection was completely innocent. You've got to look to collate positive evidence. You see, the fact is, we know that you've had vaccinations in your life. Had you not had that as a child, you wouldn't be healthy right now. So vaccinations are really important. So just consider the scenario that, you know, it's not looking at this evidence, it wasn't, it's never been a needle or a syringe that's caused you any problems. It's the person that actually gave you the injection or vaccination. That's potentially the problem. So just consider you will never get a vaccination or an injection off that person again because most often this would have happened in childhood, so that person won't be around anymore, uh, potentially. So consider that first, but also look at other evidence. For example, you know, if you had a loved one who needed desperately to have the vaccination because they were high risk, for example, would you encourage them to have it? Of course you would. So if you'd encourage them to have it, then surely you should consider it yourself. Also, if it was one of your animals, if you had a pet and it needed an injection for something, would you take it to the vet to have that done? Of course you would. This is the same thing. And also consider that this potentially is a life-saving vaccination. Just consider the scenario that your house was on fire, you're trapped in your bedroom, you think you're going to die, and then a ladder comes up to the bedroom window and it's a fireman and he takes you down to safety. Can you imagine the scenario of saying, I hate you now, I'm going to be frightened of you because you saved my life? Just consider that. Yeah, uh, and, and that's what it's about, it's changing uh, your, your perspective. Um, so just to recap, again, try and locate the orange origin, really challenge that origin, challenge why what you believed back then is, is wrong and actually um, how the needle is, is not to blame. And, and potentially is, on, is also a victim because you know, you're know you fearful because of something it never did. And that, that, that really feels unfair. Um, look for loads of positive evidence, like Nick said there, you know, it's a life-saving vaccination. And then the last part um, of you overcoming your needle phobia is to take additional actions, things to give you peace of mind and make you feel better. So that might be speaking to the doctor or 
honest, explaining to them how you feel, how fearful you are. You might want to ask for a topical anaesthetic so that it numbs the area of your skin. You might want to take a loved one with you so you've got some reassurance. Um, another great thing that you can do is to wear um, a, a, a cover over double your mask. eyes. Yeah, like double mask. Uh, cover over your eyes so that you're blocking out everything around you and everything that's medical. And put some earphones on, uh, obviously explaining to the doctor or nurse what you're doing and why. Um, and listen to some really great music, uh, music that's really empowering to you, that makes you feel really good. So that you can kind of close off the outside and, and just be concentrating on your music and, and, and not actually thinking about where you are and what's about to happen. Another thing that you can do is to, to sigh. Um, sighing is amazing. So before you actually go for your injection, start to see the scenario playing out in your head, small increments, and then sigh. That will actually help you to feel better. And finally, um, you know, if you've got a little while to wait before you need any form of vaccination, it's a great idea to um, start on systematic desensitisation. What we mean by that is that you're going to start desensitising yourself to the, uh, the needle of the injection. That might be starting to look at cartoon pictures, watching cartoons, looking at photographs, looking at YouTube films, um, even down to, if you can, you know, get an orange, put a needle in it just to start to make you feel um, less anxious and take more control. So really hope um, that those tips there are But also helped. consider uh, Eva that when you, if you cut your finger as a, as a child, you know, it's a big deal, you know, you make a big thing about it, but as you cut your finger as an adult, it's like, so what? Good point. Uh, you know, so when you've had, you know, invariably this will have started in childhood if you've got a fear. Uh, of injections so just consider what was a big deal then isn't as an adult yeah. and essentially you're just using this childhood reference and that's the thing and, and also you know going having an injection or having any any medical procedure it's okay to be apprehensive you Absolutely. know let's be honest no one's going to say all oh, right i'm going to have a week off and i'm going to have loads of medical procedures no one's ever going to do that in their life it's something that we try and avoid but this is a life-saving situation here, potentially. You know, so you know, please consider everything that we've said uh, and go and get your vaccination. Yeah, so and to finish off, then we will be actually uploading another film um, with regards to possible causes of phobias, particularly orientated around injections and needles, just in case you're not completely sure. So do be sure to subscribe to our channel and take a look around because we've got lots of little films up that uh, are calming techniques to help you to feel a lot better and a lot calmer and a lot stre less stressed. So yeah, good luck with that vaccination and be healthy.